Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Well, our next project is the Nomad CNC Mill. Take it away, gentlemen. All right. Uh, my name is George. I'm Apollo. And uh, we are two of the creators of the Nomad, our third partners in LA. Hello, Robert. I'm sure he's watching us with beta breath. Uh, the Nomad 83 is a uh, desktop CNC milling machine. So we're, uh, what we try to do here is combine the flexibility of a milling machine, a big industrial major milling machine, with the uh, ease of use and out-of-the-box experience of a 3D printer. We've been in product development for 16, 17 years, so we're really familiar with rapid prototyping tools. Uh, we own a bunch of them. Uh, so we saw an opportunity to make what we thought was uh, a, an easy to use machine so that anyone can use it, whether you have any machining experience or not. Uh, it's ready to run out of the box. Uh, it comes with all the software, which uh, usually CNC machines don't come with any software. You buy a machine and that's all you get. Uh, it comes with cutters, it comes with materials, so you can get started right away. Uh, I think one of the key features that we bring to the table, uh, the software makes it really easy to begin making parts quickly. We do a lot of the number crunching on, uh, under the hood. All you do is uh, you bring in your 2D or 3D part into our software. Uh, you tell it, I want to cut it out of wood. You select a, a type of cutter. You say, I want it to machine quickly or I want a lot of detail. And the software takes care of the rest. So we put a lot of thought into removing some of the guesswork that goes into CNC machining. So let me stop you there. Yeah. What software? Where does this software come so from? So the software that we're shipping with this is MeshCam. It's a proven CAM software that's been developed for 10 years. People have used it to make jewelry molds to aerospace parts. The second piece of software is Carbide Motion. That's our machine controller. So after MeshCam generates the toolpath or plans the motion of the cutter, then Carbide Motion feeds that information into the machine so it can cut it. What kind of materials? Uh, that's a great question. Thank you, Leo. Uh, you can do PCBs, for one. You can do hardwoods, uh, soft metals like aluminum and brass. Okay. That's actually both. Uh, plastics, oh, like acrylics, ABS. A model of a it, is, it, is it like a Dremel head? I mean, what is the milling head like? So a lot of the machines uh, that are kind of the DIY type come with a Dremel head. Mm -hmm. uh, we developed our own spindle. So from the ground up, it's our own design. has a brushless motor that is uh, quiet. We have a, a, our own speed controller so that the RPM stays constant throughout the operation. So if, you, uh, if you're machining aluminum, sometimes you might get a little load. The machine knows to increase the power, so you get a clean part. So that's, that's also our own design. This is kind of the opposite of a 3D printer, because instead of building it's up, exactly you're cutting the down. Opposite. Cutting down. Yeah. Right. This is really cool. It's pretty incredible. I, I think this is a this yes. is a really interesting. Here's another idea. great one that we just made for a project. It's now, an iPhone dock made with a walnut and aluminum. Oh, look at that. So did, did you mill the walnut as well yeah. as the metal? Yes. With the same head, or do you have different heads for different materials? Uh, different different bits. Different right. bits. Yeah. yeah. Great. Okay. You'd have to. Yeah, you want a wood bit for wood or a yeah. plastic right. one for plastic. But it, so you're planning to sell it with all the bits? How what 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 would we get and how much would it cost? Yeah. So you get the machine. You get a. Uh, uh, an assortment of bits, still to be determined, but yeah. a, a nice amount, and you mm -hmm. get starter material. Probably some wood, probably uh, something we call wrench shape, which is a composite, really easy to machine. Uh, and of course, it comes with the software. Now, you mentioned uh, the bits or you know how the Dremel head. One thing we added to that's this. Wrench. Oh, yeah, that's a this wrench This is shape. phenomenal. It's a uh, circuit board. Wow. So this is the kind of PBS, PB, whatever they call it, plastic that you would use in a 3D printer. But just cut down. Well, or? That, that's a ABS. It's ABS. I mean, this yeah, is yeah. this is wren shape. It's a it's a type of really it's dense wren wren shape. Wren shape. It's a really fast machining foam. So if you want to make a quick prototype, ah, this is this is perfect. That's what this gear is made out of. I yeah. think. Yeah. Probably. And yeah. I'm gonna cut your uh, logo. Uh, oh, that's awesome. On yeah. the machine. You didn't tell oh. us how much. So it's on Kickstarter now for under two thousand. When we're out of Kickstarter, it'll be between. 2200 or to 2500. That's about what a replicator uh, yeah, yeah, costs, it's, it's a maker a, bot. Yeah, it's in line with a desktop 3D printer price. Yeah. yeah. This it's, is really phenomenal. I can't believe you could. This is brass? Yeah. Yeah, that's brass. You can actually cut brass with yeah. this? Mm -hmm. How long would it take to do something like that? Uh, that one one's uh, an hour and a half. That is incredible. And this is from a 3D design on your mesh program? Uh, it's actually a 3D file um, from online. So okay. A skull. 
and okay. uh, I uh, shrank it down for that little brass part, and I uh, sized it up for the larger one. Now, you mentioned that it, uh, the amount of time that, that it takes. Is amazing. this a set it and forget it, so you wander away and go watch a show, or do you have to be sitting there operating uh, the machine? You can put the lid down, walk away. Okay. Yeah. If you have operations like uh, multiple tools, like if you want a, a thicker tool for a quick rough passing, and then you have another tool for a finer detail, yeah, you have to be there. Okay, so here's the big question. How does your product differ from the other mill, which is a competitive product that's also has already been crowdfunded? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a uh, it's bigger, bigger build envelope, uh, eight inches by eight inches by three inches high, uh, 83 in the name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it comes with a software that runs in Mac and Windows for our version. Is that different from the other mill? Yeah, I think they only run Mac, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Okay. Uh, and we can also mill PCBs. Uh, and this is amazing. You can make your own breadboards. Yeah, th so this, a that couple is of, really so you cool. can build more with yeah. your product. And uh, in order to do that, we had to build a uh, full aluminum frame. So yeah. uh, it underneath looks really the, rigid. The, it's, the, looks really the bamboo. Yeah, it's 50 pounds of aluminum. Aluminum mm. frame. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that would make sense. Wow. It keeps it rigid. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have other usability features. You know, we want to make this an experience that is hassle free for the user. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to make it as, as plug and play as possible. So. We have a, a tool length setting. For instance, I mentioned changing bids. So you put in your tool, uh, you, you move the head to where you want to cut, you click go, and the machine knows the distance it has to travel to start cutting. Uh, and does this come with standard bits, or can people like buy replacement They can buy replacement. Bits, or, it comes with it. You can you. buy them on Amazon, McMaster, right. online. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to lock There's, anybody into proprietary bits. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. This the way is to go. incredible. Let, Thank let me, you. Can you turn it yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, he's going to yeah. do a quick, Let's quick see demo. Operation. That's amazing. Okay. I want them to make me something small like that and pretty. How right. accurate uh, is it? And what is uh, that? repeatable? It's uh, it's yeah. That's a it's a it's a question that we get asked a lot. Because yeah. There's a lot of uh, a lot of that goes into accuracy, right? But right. in the x and y direction, we can do one thousandth of an inch. Wow. In the c direction, point oh 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 one of an inch. So. Wow. It's, that's it's, very good. That is wow. that is thinner than the thi the width uh, the width of a human hair. Yeah, that's excellent. Yeah. yeah. Look at that go. So is that unusual? I, I'm, I've never used a, a mill, uh, anything like this at all, but is it unusual for the bottom to, to, to do one access and the top to do the no, other? No, there's, there's uh, yeah, this is a moving table. Uh -huh. There's something called a moving gantry. So mm -hmm. the cutter moves this way. Uh, is that standard for mills of different sizes or? Yeah, uh, we had to do a, a moving table because we wanted to be enclosed. Mm -hmm. To do a I moving see. gantry, we couldn't put the sides on it. You know, we so we wanted to, to be... Well, let's get Glenn to set up the, the polling. Yes, let's I, go I to Glenn. I want to make sure that Glenn has uh, yeah. everybody. We, so can we see wanted those? it to be, you know, if you have a spare bedroom, you can use it. A, right. a, a home office, a studio, a garage, a shop. Is, so we wanted to make I it enclosed. I would love to just have this in George, my living yeah. room. <laughs> George, hold on just a second because we want to get make sure that the people at home can vote on this as so well. So if you want to vote on whether you would fund this or not, go to strawpoll.me slash 167-0560 to vote. And of course, you can ask questions at bit.ly slash IFT questions. We do have uh, one from the chat room already. Magpie wants to know, does the CNC mill support any open source software and master cam as well? Yeah, you have it, to use it, your software? No, or? it'll take any G code from any cam software. If you, if you like master cam, yeah, export G code and we'll read it. Okay. Yeah, it comes with software because we want to make it easy for the user. Right. But right. if you right. if you have your own, yeah, go ahead. No, I'd like I'd like the whole package. Yeah. I like the idea of it showing so, up. This is another point of difference with us. Uh, we made this we call the flip jig. Mm -hmm. So if you want to make a 3D part, let's say we want to machine the other side of that skull. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You put the material in in here. This fits into the table. Oh yeah. You cut cut the top, and then you flip it. The software will know and tell you, and then you machine the bottom, which makes it really simple to do 3D parts. Usually you have to do alignment and re right. reset the machine. This takes all the hassle out. Did you did you use a prototype of this machine to make another prototype of this machine? <laughs> we wish, no. And could you automate that? Can it be self-replicating? Almost. Does that come in various sizes, or is that the only the yeah, one? Yeah, this is this is the first size. We're okay. gonna we're talking about making a smaller one for you know jewelry applications. That's well, yeah. Action yeah. That's why I'm asking. Lisa, be oh, interested in that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm interested in that. I part. mean, but look at this. It's because beautiful. That's beautiful. I love that. That is that's just incredible. spectacular. Smart. Thank you. Um, it's nice to see the variation. You know, I'd be the first to say I don't know anything about CNC milling. I think uh, I'm one though. But Wouldn't this, this be fun to really do at home? looks. Phenomenal. Yeah. I've done a little. I've worked around a woodworking shop, so yeah. This is this is pretty incredible. Uh, I love this the idea that you even just if just to make your own breadboards. If you were yeah. designing electronics, the ability to to, to 
Grind these out. Yeah, that's an Arduino board, actually. Is it? Yeah. Wow, that's really great. And you found that design for that online? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just grabbed it, tested it, make sure it works. So great. I just Such want because idea. it looks like it'll be fun. I, I have to say that, you know, a big part of what you're doing here that's, I mean, Milling has existed for a while, so you haven't invented yeah. the mill. No. But the right. design and construction of it, I love. I, I love it, frankly, mm -hmm. because you. it looks. It looks like a no BS design. It looks like a really highly functional. It looks very sturdy. I don't know if it's actually sturdy, actually well constructed, it but it looks solid, that way, doesn't it? And I'm impressed by the fact that closing that lid, you can still see it, but it's, it's yeah. very good with the with silencing it. I mean, the difference between it, it being was open not and noisy, closed, was it? No, yeah. no, it wasn't. Yeah. So that, we that's were able to hear you well. and converse with you while yeah, it's running. Yeah, we, we wanted to be, you know, uh, to appeal to a, to a number of people. Yeah. Not, not just a hobbyist or a maker, but if you, want, if you have a small business, you could use this. If, you, if, you just, if you're a jeweler, you could use it. So Would I have to buy the uh, materials from you, or are these fairly no, standard? No, no, no standard we'll, materials. We'll ship yeah. it with material. We, yeah. We'll probably sell material, but you right. can use your own. I think this if is you a have really wood at home, just go interesting ahead and angle on the 3D printer space mm -hmm. this there's idea of being able to so there's look at your logo. that and look at that that came out great three minutes <laughs> that's fantastic that's way to butter up the judges that'll do it how that's hard some, how, but it's also they did it right in front of us it's not yeah. like their their product no works. i want to see it working yeah well i think one key here is that we took an image file from the internet that's your logo we just downloaded right, right. okay and the right. software brought in the png file he created a height map and then said okay i know how deep i have to cut and I just went ahead and did it. So you said 17 years you've been working on this? Oh, 16 no. years of product 16 development. 16 years of product development. Of product development. Yeah. So a variety of different products. Yeah. yeah. Got it. But did you have a background in CNC milling? Uh, our partner does. Yeah. 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 Who wrote the... Uh, and the, the name the of the software. printer is th this Carbide 3D. That's our company. Uh, your company. What's the printer's name? Uh, Nomad 883. I like the name Nomad 883. Exactly. In any environment. I love it. Where are you... Uh, <laughs> where are you already said... Yes, at home in any environment. I <laughs> That's like. That's incredible. Where are that. you uh, crowdsourcing the uh, the funding? Kickstarter. This I, is a Kickstarter. Product. And you've already blown you away your it. goals. Oh, they have. They yes. have. Yes. Oh, you just but it makes now you're. Sense, because I'd fund now that. Now you're going for the stretch. <laughs> I would totally. I would fund this. I, I'll vote. Uh, I'd fund that absolutely. This is incredible. Well, Even I want at $2, one. Can we can we buy one? But I, you know, one thing that happened with the MakerBot was it started at around two thousand, and then they were able to get the replicator down. And and I think that it, you know, this is a very reasonable price for a first. Yeah. But product. I like this because the, it, it, you can use any type of material, which to me, I love it. It has mm -hmm. more functionality for me. I'm not really into plastic, but yeah. you know, you kind of pulled out the right things here. The we have brass. wood and the brass. Yeah, it's, look at that. It's, the aluminum. I just want to try it for to make some jewelry. They made their own. Uh... You know, you asked about accuracy, right? We designed it to be an inch wide, and it came out an inch wide, right. not right. 0 0.9999 right. or 1.1. 1. 1. It was 1.0001 oh, 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 of an inch. Wow. Right. Um, I'm wondering if it can be retrofitted to do home dentistry, but probably not. You probably don't want to put your <laughs> oh, head in there. Oh wow. Yeah, we, um, if we take the back out, we could probably put your head in there. Yeah. Okay. No, right. that would. Scary. We need a volunteer, somebody, if you so can please. Uh, I, I do have one question. What if it needs to be worked on or repaired or or serviced? Well, we offer a warranty with it. Okay. So if anything happens, we'll be happy to look at it. Okay. Uh, Tell me about this, because it looks like two different materials. Did you mill the C and then put it into the aluminum? Yeah. So that tells you a little bit about the tolerances. I mean, that's a perfect fit. And it's actually a little bit loose. Is we, it? We could have been a little tighter on it. Really? I mean, it's yeah. it's... It, it feels like inlay. I mean, it really is beautifully done. So, are you funding that? Oh, I'd fund this. Okay. I, I, I want it for me. Yeah, I, mean, I want to buy one right now. Yeah. Before we go to Glenn, yeah. I'd fund oh, that. Oh, we didn't ask. Uh, but I would fund it. <laughs> you got oh. three pr yeah. yes votes. Well, yeah. we don't need the audience at this point. Well, but we, <laughs> we don't need the audience. Oh, Lisa, yes, we do. Yes, we Chat do, room actually. would fund that hard. Yeah. 89%. Well, All right. Wow. 89% would fund wow. that. And uh, there are some questions, though. Andrew, Fake, and Derek all have questions about the largest maximum production size, largest material you can use. Yeah, so the, uh, the production size of the machine uh, will stay this size, which is about right now 19 inches by 20 by 20. Okay. The build envelope is 8, inch, eight inches by 8 inches on the XY and 3 inches high. Okay. So that's that's the maximum size for this machine. Now I'm realizing as we're doing this show, this is our first show, mm -hmm. that this is a great show for anybody who's doing crowdfunding project uh, funding. 
right? So this is a product that people can use to make to other make more Kickstarter products. projects. I agree. And the advice that I've heard from from the from the three groups we've had, all of them have good made. advice for people, yeah. and there's much to be learned from people. So that's another part of yeah. the audience we haven't really talked about, which is the crowdfunding community themselves, who can learn a lot from this, can learn a lot from you guys. And this reminds me of the of the pet feeder we heard uh, earlier, which is a really nice high end, uh, no nonsense design. Which I think is a great, uh, a great and sorely needed thing, and it's something that the, the ordinary commercially funded companies tend to not do. So, congratulations to Thank you it. for already reaching your goal, and and it just looks like a fantastic product. I, I frankly think this is more exciting than the 3D printer. I, it, it has many of the same functionality, but there, I don't know. There's something to me about carving this out instead of building it up, um, and and the materials you're using are so much more interesting than the limited materials of the inexpensive 3D printers. You're using actual metals here. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, that's what I, I like. I think too. this is really, to me, it's almost more, more exciting than a 3D printer. Right. Yeah, it's certainly uh, more usable, useful. Home CNC yeah. milling. Yeah. What an idea! I you got a hit. Thank Congratulations! You. Thank you. Wow. Congratulations. How much have you raised so far? Uh, Two hundred seventy thousand. Wow. So you're gonna do it? Oh, this oh, is happening. Yeah. yeah, that's very exciting. Right. Congratulations. Thank really you. well done. They're going to do it. All right. Well, maybe, they should do it. I maybe, mean, maybe wow. in two years, Mark Zuckerberg will pay you $10 billion. No, there is 19 yeah, right? days left. So if you want to get on the Nomad CMC bandwagon, mm -hmm. you can go to kickstarter.com, Nomad CNC three, uh, from Carbide 3D. And I, there are still, um, you can still buy models. And, uh, yeah, yeah. and, and I, do you have stretch goals? Yeah. We have a stretch goal. Yeah. We uh, only include this uh, flip jig for, uh, the, for the higher tier. Yeah. If we hit uh, 275, everybody gets it. I think you're oh, going all great. the way. Yeah. Uh, and that is, by the way, an invention all by itself. That's, yeah. that's really so cool. So I do have a question. Are you thinking of um, scaling this, making this a little bigger? Yeah. I'm sure you are, yeah. right? Yeah. This is like the first yeah. the first model? Okay. Yeah, we, we have uh, on the drawing board uh, a number of models great. to follow up. So you're going to go smaller or just? S smaller, bigger. Okay. Y your, your price point is about as high as you can go without actually starting to get to the price points yeah. of real CNC milling yeah, machines. Right. Okay. So, yeah, you, you don't want to get... You, you don't want to get into the big business of CNC, right? No, you want no to we want to be CNC. desktop. Yeah, yeah. desktop yeah. CNC. Yeah, but I can see somebody wanting twice the size of that at home. Sure. I think Absolutely. Lisa is one of them. Well, I'm kind of like the option. I think we're going to have a, a whole CNC milling operation going on. In I the, think it'll be fun, I love though, it. Look at that. We're constantly looking for, Look you know, we, we just bought a house. And we're constantly looking for little things. And I'm just like, why can't I just make something? Instead of spending 100 bucks for knobs on my desk, you could we could have milled them. them for a few thousand. No. <laughs> <laughs> that would be to buy it, and then you make a bunch of other things. Yeah, it wouldn't no, just be for I, that I one this thing. Is really, I, I just this think is so exciting. I think I it's also you. educational, and you yeah. can you yep. can do other things with it, Very too. Nice. I really like it. So uh, I think a, a, a round of uh, fund this, we'd fund it from the panel and from the home audience as well. That's that's pretty good. You don't get better than that. No. Yeah. Right. Thank you, everybody. It's great. Right. Thank you. I think the product of the day so far. Nice to meet you. Well done.